Indonesia's state-owned aerospace company Durjantara Indonesia introduced on Monday two prototypes of new medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, male UAV, designed for both civilian and military uses. The UAV will help the government ward off territorial threats from the archipelago and keep an eye on potential threats including smuggling, terrorism and natural resource thefts, the company claimed. Durjantara President Director Elfine Gantoro said that its first flight is targeted to be carried out next year. As of now, we are still undergoing the manufacturing development process. Durjantara, which also produces small propeller aircraft, is developing two prototypes for flight and structural tests of the Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology, or BPPT, with a aim to get a certification by 2024. The UAV also aims to tackle the country's perennial issue of forest fires through forest and land supervision. Forest fires occur every year and they require a continuous supervision on cloud, climate, hotspots and the water level of peatlands, BPPT head Imam Riza said. The UAV requires a 700-meter runway for takeoff and landing. It is capable of cruising to up to 20,000 feet at the highest speed of 235 km per hour. It can also stay in the air for up to 30 hours. In its development, the aircraft will be armed with missiles as well. The military version of the drone will require a separate certification from the Ministry of Defense, expected by the end of 2021. 